Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Selenium Python tutorial, we are going to learn how you can generate the test reports or HTML reports in Selenium Python framework. So we have already understood about the data driven testing. We have understood about externalizing your data into Excel, CSV, JSON or YAML file and how to read those data from those files and use in your test scripts. So all of that has been covered. Now test reporting is very important and you need to generate proper HTML reports and circulate it to the relevant stakeholders to convey the overall status of the test execution that has happened in your project. So for that, because we are using PyTest, there is a plugin for PyTest already which will generate HTML reports for us. We just need to install that particular plugin. So if we go to the pypy.org, py there is pytest-html. This is the plugin that is available and this plugin is for PyTest and generates the HTML reports for the test results. So this is what we can quickly go ahead install and then start using this particular HTML report. So nothing complex about it pretty simple and then we'll later understood in the next tutorial we'll understand how you can customize this report as well so first thing let's quickly go ahead and install it right so to install what we need to do is just go to the command prompt we'll go to this pypy.org just search for pytest hyphen html and copy this particular command right so pip install pytest hyphen html we'll go to the command prompt and paste the command there and it should start the installation, right? So you will see that installation is pretty quick. It has successfully installed PyTest HTML. If you want to check the status of the packages that have been installed, just say pip space list. And in the list, you should be able to see this PyTest hyphen HTML and the version that has been installed, right? So this is basically how you will install PyTest or uh, PyTest HTML, right, uh, package. Now, if you haven't watched the previous tutorial of the configuration of Python or how to install Python and configure the environment variable, I would highly recommend go back and watch from the beginning of this particular tutorial series because then you'll be able to grasp all the concept in a sequential way. So now we have installed the PyTest HTML, right? So prior to that, you need to have the Python and everything that I've already explained in the initial videos, right? So if you have everything set up correctly, you will be able to install PyTest HTML plugin and you will get some message like this PyTest has been successfully installed. Once it is installed, we'll come back to our framework here, right? Now nothing, we don't have to do anything else. In order to generate the report, if you go to the documentation here and we'll quickly go to the documentation and here just go to the user guide and then you will see in the user guide you will see how you can create a self-contained report and what exactly self-contained report is all about is there are other files in your report so for example css style sheets and all so when you say self-contained report it will generate a convenient report which will you can share with other stakeholders so you cannot you do not have to embed other files as well because if the css file are missing then the layout of the report might not look good so in order to create the report simply fire this command along with the pytest we just have to use hyphen hyphen html the report name and if it is a self-contained report we'll just need to use this particular hyphen hyphen self under hyphen contained and hyphen html right then we can enhance the report as well and we'll look into these enhancement details later as well okay so for now what we need to do is as we are firing the command to run our test cases along with that command we just have to append these lines here right so this particular line here so we'll simply open the command prompt right so let me go to this framework the location so we'll simply copy the path and we want to execute the test cases that are there within my framework right so how we have to run the test cases we have to just run pytest hyphen v for verbose and then we need to pass the browser on which we want to run our test case right so let's run it on chrome and the test url so the test url was yatra.com and along with this what we need to do is we need to basically 
pass these right so hyphen hyphen html is equal to report whatever the name of the report and then self-contained html right so let me copy and paste it here right so that's pretty much it what you have to do in order to create this html report and now because you have specified this report.html it will get created in this test framework demo hierarchy itself right so the report will get generated so html report report.html will be somewhere in this hierarchy in this particular folder so let's quickly run it and see the report so it will run the test case as usual but this time it will generate the html report with the name it's report.html so there is some issue with the data that is coming from csv but that's fine the core concept here is to learn the report is getting generated so the test case has failed that's fine and you will see the report.html file got created okay now if i right click and then you will see open and we'll open in the browser and let's open in edge right you will see the report has been generated and it's available for us to have a look right so you'll see the test case has failed and which particular test case has failed what data has been passed and then all the details have been basically captured in this particular report along with the logs if you see that it has captured the logs as well in this particular report so it's that simple to configure html report in your automation framework okay so let's go back and quickly fix the issue so there was some data issue and i will go to the test data and it was coming from csv so i think for let me change it to new delhi to jfk all right and let's try to run it again this time let me change the name of the report to report one and run it again so it's basically running the test case with the new set of data that i have provided should search the flight and this time the test case should execute as expected and there might be failure but those failure might be the verification failure and we should be getting some different report or the different details within within the report this time so select it two stops and finish the test case so verification has failed because of the verification failure you will see the failure but let's go back and see the report got generated so you'll see report one dot html got generated let's open it and see the details in this particular report right so you'll see the test case has failed and at this time it has captured the details of the new data that we have passed new delhi to jfk and the details accordingly have been captured here and if you scroll down all the failures that have happened all the verification failures that have happened have been captured in the report and it's so easy now for us to go ahead and see where the failures are and debug the issues within our scripts right so you'll see if i keep scrolling down all the issues have been captured here including the messages that we have logged and the logs that we have basically logged in our script okay so that's how you are going to configure the report or creating the html report in selenium python framework it is pretty easy simple just follow the steps that i have explained in this video and you should be able to capture all the details into the html report within your selenium python framework so that's all for this tutorial in the next tutorial i'll explain how you can embed the screenshots within the same report whenever the test case fails so i hope this was helpful thank you very much for watching